no. Good evening, everyone. This is Mr. Beefy with some more Go Fight Pal. We are going to be finishing up the second part of round two in the Champions Tournament to crown the first champion. And the first fight tonight is Stretcher versus Full Metal Morishima. <coughs> so let's go ahead and get started and roll for initiative. All right, both rolled a two. However, Stretcher has a fast forward of two. So Full Metal rolling his pop. Survives. Stretcher takes over. Dead leg block kick. <coughs> dead, dead leg kick, excuse me, which is blocked. Ground and pound. Morishima takes over, and it's a rumble, and Stretcher comes out ahead on that, and hits his finisher Stretcher, which has a 3 rating, so Full Metal needs a void of 3 and a 1, rolls a 3, and has no power play, so it doesn't matter what it is, so Stretcher wins with a Stretcher. Not how I saw that one going, but that's how it goes sometimes. All right, next match is Mahoney versus Shane Stud. All right. Okay, let's roll for initiative. Two, three, no fast forward, so Mahoney. Starts off, forearm club, Shane Stud reverses into a fisherman suplex, which Mahoney reverses. And there's a test of strength, a rumble rating. So seven to Shane Stud's eight. Shane Stud takes over on positive, is going for a T-bone suplex, which might put Mahoney down. He's rolling his pop, needs to avoid rolling a one. And he does. Shane Stud continues the fight, goes for another fisherman suplex, and might put Mahoney away again. Needs to avoid a roll of one, and he does. Four fisherman buster, which is blocked. And a belly to belly suplex. Shane Stud's finisher with a number, uh, power number of three. So need to avoid one or three by Mahoney. And he does. He rolls a six. Shane Stud continues, and it's a rumble. And Shane Stud has an eight to six, and so we'll give him a deck of heck card. Oh, carbon copy. Shane Stud blasts the opponent with his own finisher. They have to defend versus their own finisher and pop number. So Shane Stud is stealing Mahoney's finisher. And it's a go-to gel with a rating of two and one. So Mahoney's got to avoid a one and a two on this roll. And he doesn't. He can still power pay or still power play out of it and continue to fight if he rolls a six. And there is no six. So Shane Stud wins using Mahoney's own finisher. Awesome. <clears throat> I think this will be the next fight of the night. Brazen Rook versus Big Daddy T. All right. Now I'm going to switch the dice on this one since Big Daddy's green. All right. Let's roll for initiative. Rolls a five. No fast forward. Rolls a two, which is not it. So Big Daddy takes over on positive. Hit goes for a heartbreaker, which Brazen reverses and goes for an all out assault, which is blocked. And he goes for a Warzone Whiplash, which is also blocked. Brazen hits his finisher Punishment, which has a rating of four, and Big Daddy has a pop of four, so there will be two rolls trying to avoid four, which aren't needed since he rolled that one. So now Big Daddy T needs a five to survive with his power play. And he does not get it. Brazen wins with punishment. Man, these are some fast fights. <clears throat> and so this will 
bring us to? It's time for the main event. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this. This is Tiger Supremo versus Ojo Del Fuego. All right, make sure I got the cards on the camera. I haven't been paying too close attention to that, so I apologize. All right, let's start with the initiative. Both roll a one, neither have a fast forward of one, so we'll roll initiative again. A six and a three, no fast forwards are rolled, so Tiger Supremo takes over on positive with the higher number and goes for a Tope Corn Hilo, which Fuego gets out of the way and goes for a shoulder block, which Supremo dodges. Fuego goes for a clothesline which is reversed and Supremo hits one of his finishers, the Legato Familiar, with a rating of three. So Fuego needs to avoid a three and a one. And a one is rolled. So now he can power play out with a four and he rolls a six and does not get it. And so that is the end of uh, the second round of the tournament. So um, thanks for tuning in. Um, and we'll start the semifinals here um, shortly. Once again, if you like this game, go check out the uh, forums for Go Fight Pal or check the store out. Um, as you kind of saw with uh, this fight tonight, um, matches can go quite quickly, which is why I like it. But every once in a while, you'll have one of those, uh, kind of like when me and uh, the misses were playing. Some matches do take a while. But anyways, I encourage you to go check it out. It's a pretty cool game. Um, a lot of people are helpful on the forums and stuff. And if you like making your own characters, you can do that too. So anyways, go fight pal fans. You have a good rest of your day. Ooh. I just got